Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Welcome to New York City, home to famous sites like Times Square and the Statue of Liberty. And way out on Long Island, New York, you'll find ocean views along the historic lighthouse at Montauk. Not far from there, you might be surprised to find that the Krzyzewski family still farms on Long Island. They kind of, they kind of laugh that there's even farming here. They don't really, uh, they don't, they can't really process that there's a, uh, we farm that, this much acreage here. They think it's like little, uh, little gardens here and, and all beach homes. And there are a lot of, lot of beach homes here, but, but we're still here farming. We kind of changed from corn and potatoes to fruits, vegetables, and, and a huge part of us, our farm, is agritourism now uh, in September and October. Hank's Pumpkin Town is the family's popular agritourism business, and it's where we found this father and son who both have a case of gold fever in the form of International Harvester Golden Demonstrator tractors. Five, four or five months in 1970, uh, International Harvester painted tractors gold, and they were sending them out to dealerships to uh, let farmers test the tractors that they had. Um, there's all kinds of rumors that went around about the demonstrator program. Uh, one of them was that the tractors were turned up, so the farmers had them, had a ton of power when they were testing them out on the farm. And then when they ordered the brand new red one and it came in, it was, had a little bit less power. Uh, there's all kinds of rumors about it, but at random, the tractors were pulled as they went through the, the assembly line and they were painted gold and they were sent off. We dug through some things and we actually found a 1970 International Magazine. My dad always used to get all that. And, uh, and it had on the back cover the, back, the, the demonstrator program, which kind of narrows down for us as, as there's a lot of fact and fiction out there as to, as to what's true and what's not true. It narrowed down uh, the, the serial number range. It had, you know, in the coming months, in the coming summer months is gonna be this demonstrator program. It had a lot of pictures of get demonstrator tractors, which I see some guys don't paint the fuel caps gold, and, and in that in those brochures, we tried to kind of zoom in and, and study those pictures as we restore them to get everything as it should have been. Now for collectors, they're they're worth a lot more money. They were a lot of them made. Um, they made them in five different models: the 1456, the 1026, the 826, 656, and 544. So they're uh, they're pretty sought after right now. On the day we visited, the two Hanks parked many of their prized red and gold IH tractors side by side. One standout in this impressive group is the very rare 1970 Golden Demonstrator 1026 High Clear. It's one of two built, so pretty rare. <laughs> it came from uh, White Castle, Louisiana. It was uh, on the original farm. It was sold brand new in 1970 out of uh, Lemons Brothers Equipment in Donaldsville, Louisiana. That's where the information we got from, from the original owner, uh, Calvin Monaga. Um, he had it from pretty much new all the way up to a few years ago, which where he retired from farming and sold the tractor and how we ended up with it. And uh, I've gotten to speak with him a few times, and which was great to speak to the original owner of this tractor. The 1026s, there was 2,414 of them built. Um, of course, at random, in 1970 for a few months, regular gold demonstrators were built, and then two were built as high clearance 1026s. Uh, they were high clearance tractors for sugar. For this one, was on a sugar cane farm with the rice and canes on it and the single rib fronts, and they sat up higher. It had the tall spindles in the front and then the drop axles in the back. We have quite a few 1026. Regular red ones from 1970, regular red ones from 1971, uh, gold demonstrators, and then we have the Wheatland. And the 1026 high clearance, the serial number prefix is different than every other one. Uh, it's a few numbers off compared to the rest of them. Rare as it is, the high clearance tractor, like any other 1026, is loaded with features. Built in Rock Island, Illinois, the tractor is powered by a six-cylinder, 407 cubic inch international diesel engine that produced 112 horsepower. The 1026, it just had plenty of power. Uh, it's just, we always say the transmission's like butter. It's so smooth, it just rolls through. Uh, good on the road, perfect in the field. It goes slow enough to plant anything, cultivate. You, 
it's perfect for where we do we a lot of vegetables. Uh, if you put out any kind of transplant or anything, it's slow enough. Um, it's not like a gear tractor where you're in a select range, you know. It's almost like they were ahead of their time with uh, a big tractor and hydro. I'm, now John Deere has the IVT and Case has the CVT, which is kind of the similar concept of a hydrostatic transmission that these had. I just love the way it looks. It looks really neat. It drives really nicely. I mean, I like I said, I haven't driven the 1026 High Clear, but we've got uh, many other 1026s. I like the way they st they're very smooth shifting. The motor is just nice and quiet and smooth. Actually, when we had the red one unloaded, a neighbor of ours unloaded it for us. We weren't around when they delivered it. And he called, he said, that's probably the smoothest tractor. And he's a John Deere man. He said, that's probably the smoothest running tractor I've ever driven. And, and I just like the way they drive. My father and I love the hydrostatic transmission. and. The 1026 is our favorite tractor. The, uh, but being up on the high crop, it's completely, completely different than a regular hydrostatic tra tractor. You're, you're up real tall. It's, uh, it's it, you're like sitting on top of the, in the sky. Riding high on the 1026 Golden Demonstrator, it's easy to see why this tractor would draw a crowd at a show. But good as it looks now, the 1026 High Clear was used hard back on the farm in Louisiana. It was rough. It was definitely, uh, was worked hard in its lifetime. Uh, it was like any of the southern tractors, they were kind of kind of rough, kind of beat up. And, uh, it took a lot of time, time to get it back to the condition it is right now. Well, it was absolutely awful. It, I think it was pretty well rebuilt. The majority of that tractor was rebuilt and redone. And we had to look for a lot of different parts for it that were missing or, or abused. or, but. We were just we were just glad that we still had you know the, the the gold was still under the hoods. I mean they did a lot of work cleaning. Some of our golds uh, cleaned up very nicely underneath all that old original gold. Some of them were a little bit rougher condition underneath. Finding that original gold paint is important because, as the saying goes, not all that glitters is gold. For these two collectors, accuracy and verification that each of their tractors is a real golden demonstrator is important. I mean, I don't claim to be an expert. I mean, we've studied them for quite a few years now. I think we've studied pretty hard. We've visited a lot. We've talked to a lot of people. People just, if, if you're looking at a tractor that you think is a gold demonstrator, you really need to study that tractor, get into the serial number, make sure it's even in that right range of July, August, September, October of, of 1970, not too early, not too late. Just take some of the grab handles off, take the hoods off, make sure there's gold underneath. Um, there's just a lot of, you know, it's very hard to prove it. Uh, we've got several of ours. We've had pictures from the original owners. We've got spoken to the original owners, and that's huge. We've got a couple that were still gold from new, were never ever painted red, and, and pictures to, to show that uh, from the owners when, they, when the tractor was delivered. As they continue the hunt to add to their classic IH tractor collection, it's clear Hank and Hank both enjoy their tractors and the shared passion for pursuing a hobby that brings them together. We meet a lot of people all over the country. I think Hank talks to people on a daily basis all over the country about tractors. So, and, and we enjoy, we do enjoy doing this. The fact that in 24 years, this is our favorite. I'm 24 years old, and this is uh, the, the hobby that we've done forever. So uh, this is, it's, it's pretty special.